Welcome, in this video we're going to be continuing to look at mass spec. Previously, we learned that one use of mass spec is to work out the relative atomic mass of an element, given its isotopes and their relative abundances. Another use of mass spec is to work out the structure of a molecule. This particular spectrum belongs to butanoic acid. So, let's start by looking at pentane. This is the displayed formula for pentane. The molecular mass of pentane is 72, and this peak represents the molecular mass, also known as the molecular ion peak. Sometimes you might see a peak that is 1 above the M+, also known as the M plus 1 peak. You can ignore this, and the reason it's there is because there's a small percentage of carbon-13 present in the sample. So what about all these other peaks? Is this just a silhouette of the Dubai skyline? Okay, jokes apart, they're actually fragments of pentane. Let's have a look at how these fragments arise. Once we put a sample of pentane into the machine, we know that in step one, it will be ionized. This means that it will be bombarded with electrons. This turns it into a molecular ion, however, it can also destabilize it and split it into fragments. Fragments that look like these. Now these fragments, because they have different number of atoms, will also have different mz values. As you can see, for this sample, we have loads of different fragments, and there are more variations, however, we're just going to look at the most common ones. Let's have a look at how these fragments look like on our graph. So over here we have a peak of 43, and this is most likely to represent this fragment. 29 looks like it could be this fragment, and 15 is most likely this one. Now again, you won't be asked to explain every single fragment, however, you might be asked to identify the most common ones, so it's worth memorizing 15, 29, and 43. You might also be expected to write fragment equations. Let's use propane as an example. Once we put propane into the machine, let's say it breaks down from here. This creates two fragments. One will be an ion, and one will become a radical. The ion will be charged, and therefore it will make its way through the machine and become part of the spectrum. The radical, because it's uncharged, will not be detected. This fragmentation can also be written as an equation. The propane ion will break down into its two fragments. One is an ion, and one will be a radical. However, it could also be the other way around like so. So we can see that for one molecule, we can have many different variations of fragments. Another interesting use of mass spec is to distinguish between two different compounds that have the same molecular ion peak. Both propanone on the left and propanol on the right have the same relative formula. So does that mean we cannot distinguish between them? Yes, we can. And to do that, we will use fragments. So, looking at propanone, these are the three fragments that we can produce. And these are their mz values. As for propanol, we can produce more fragments. And we can see that we have some mz values that propanone had, but also some new, unique ones. And it's this feature of mass spec that we will use to distinguish between two different molecules. For example, for propanol, we can see that we'll have a peak at 29, or at 14, this will not be present in propanone. Here we've been given the mass spec of an alcohol, and the question says which ion is responsible for the peak with the greatest relative intensity? This peak has the greatest relative intensity. It has a value of 43. So let's look at the four ions and write down the M values. 44, 42, 43, and 43. So there are two ions which both have a value of 43, but there can only be one answer. So let's look at them in a bit more detail. This is the alcohol that we used. We can see that this part can actually form ion C. However, ion D cannot form any part of this structure. So therefore, the answer is C. Here's another question. Which alcohol is not likely to have a fragment ion at 43 in its mass spec? Now remember, we said that some ions we have to memorize. For example, 15 was CH3, 29, and also 43. 
So let's draw the structure of A, B, C and D and see which one does not have an ion of 43. Alcohol A, B, C and D. So we can see that alcohol B can form an ion with a value of 43. So can alcohol C and so can alcohol D. Meaning that the answer should be alcohol A. It is the only one that does not form any fragment with a value of 43. Hey guys, if that video helped you, support our channel by liking, subscribing and sharing it with your friends. And more importantly, if you still have questions, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com where I will personally be there to help answer your questions. Mohammed signing out.